Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the month of December. What does that mean? We're here to talk about the Cowboys and their remaining road to the postseason and whether or not I'm going to be buying or selling their hopes for a deep playoff run. And of course, it's going to hinge on what I see this month. Now, that being said, before we begin, if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you wish to support the channel further, hit the join button, become a channel member today, and by all means, it's greatly appreciated. So we have six games left, and five of which are in December, one of which in January. And this is going to be a huge stretch of games for the Cowboys, right? You have the Colts, the Texans, the Jags, okay, whatever. Then you have, in the last three games, Eagles, Titans, and Commanders. The Cowboys have three playoff teams. If you want to include Washington as a playoff hopeful, because I'm not sure if they're going to make it. It shows you that this Cowboys team is going to have a gauntlet to go through before they get to the dance, and this will answer a lot of our questions. So, let's first start off with how I'm feeling right now about the team. I'm feeling good, right? They're 8-3. and three. They had the hiccup versus Green Bay, and they haven't been playing their best football, which to me is important. Why? It tells me the team hasn't peaked, and usually you want to peak towards the tail end of December into January. Because that's when teams really, really make their mark. This happens in any sport. Baseball is a prime example of this. If you just watched the postseason last year, I don't know if anybody cares about baseball on this channel. The Phillies got hot at the right time. They made it to the World Series. Sure, they lost. However, they got hot at the right time, and they beat plenty of decent teams in front of them. Then you look at other instances in years past. You know, we've had the Giants. I've seen teams stumble into the postseason. I think the Ravens were a good example of this back in 2012. They just stumbled into the <laughs> they stumbled into the postseason. They go on to win the whole thing. I've seen teams last year, the 49ers or the Packers of 2016. These are teams that got hot sometime at the tail end of the year, and they went straight into the postseason, and they really showed their thing. Did they win the whole thing? No, but hey, all that matters is you played football at the right time. You played football at the right time. You played good football at the right time. You know what I meant. But let's take a look at the schedule. How I think Dallas is going to finish. And does this equal them getting the uh, NFC East or, of course, a playoff spot? So the magic number for Dallas is 11. 11 wins will lock them in to the postseason. And, of course, that is assuming that tiebreakers and other teams don't lose, right? So... Can they get to 11 wins versus the Colts, Texans, and Jags? Absolutely. I think that that's definitely the case. Do I think they're going to lose one of these games? Yeah, I think they will. Um, but that's okay, right? And the reason I say that's okay is because, again, I don't give a shit about the regular season. All I care about is if you're playing good football. Now, here's the thing, and I know some of you people might have said it already if you're watching this. Good football teams will beat these shitty teams. Absolutely, and I agree. You know, the Colts are going to be a tough out. They're not going to be easy. Have you seen how they've been playing teams defensively? I mean, offensively, they've had issues, and I think that's going to be their Achilles heel going into this game. But then you look at the Texans. Texans are rebuilding. Odds are they're going to try and lay down and, you know, maybe win the game. And I say that we're going to lose that game. But, <laughs> but you have two home games. That's good. You go on the road versus Jacksonville, and this is what I'm worried. They're going to get tripped up versus Jacksonville because what happens next week? They play the Eagles on Christmas Eve, and this is the huge, you know, the biggest game of the year for the Cowboys. Why? Because I think that's going to be the statement well, the two games in a row versus Philadelphia and the Titans. Um, you know, the Cowboys beating the Eagles at home would be massive for them. Why? Because it's a confidence thing. If you Then you go on the road the next two games. So if Dallas goes on to win the NFC East, that's huge, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Philadelphia will win the division. I think because of Dallas tripping up against Jacksonville, you, then you got to hope that Philly drops two games, right? Which I don't see happening. Well, Assuming that the Cowboys do win their game, then you have to hope they lose one more game, right? And so I, I just don't see it, if I'm being real with you guys. Um, but that's okay. Or actually, they would have to lose two games. I, I don't really care at this point, right? Because the Titans and Commanders, two playoff teams on the road. If the Cowboys are going to go on the road for the postseason, these are the games that are going to tell us a lot. If they beat the Titans and the Commanders going in hot to the postseason, whether they win by 10 or if they're winning these games, that's a key indicator of what we got going on here. And I think that if you're looking for the answer from me, if the Cowboys do well against the Titans and the Commanders going to the postseason, it's a telling tale of what could happen. 
if they fail to win those games, or really more specifically, they stumble into the postseason, let's say at eleven and six, or um, they get in at twelve and five, but you don't really see good football. Now I'm concerned, right? And so you have to say at this point, you know, are we screwed? With okay, do we need to win the division to secure a certain spot? Listen, if History has shown before. I've seen crazier shit happen. I've, I remember, Jesus, what was it? It was uh, Thanksgiving. We got embarrassed against the Eagles back in 2014. We were 8-4. A lot of people were like, oh, here comes the Cowboys collapse. They go undefeated in December. And in that span of time, the Eagles dropped three straight games. This allowed the Cowboys to take the division title and run away with it. And that comes into my main thing. Win these goddamn games and let fate take its course. If Dallas ends up being the number one seed because they won all their games, then goddamn it, they deserve it. If they lose and they get to the fifth seed as a you know as a wild card entry, oh well, fate happened to be that because the team didn't do their part, and now they got to go on the road in the first round. And look, look, I'm gonna be real. I I think that Dallas should play on the road in the postseason. I'm not a fan of their home field advantage. They don't really have. I mean. They have fans that go out and do their thing. Like I'm not trying to say that they don't. But I, I think that Dallas's home field advantage is them going on the road, right? So if they go on the road versus Tampa Bay, most likely their opponent, you know, that's one thing. And then you go on the road to a team like Philadelphia, or if you're lucky and you get uh, the Vikings in the first round, which would be hard because you would need um, right now the Giants or the Commanders to upset. Well, realistically, you would want the Giants to win, or excuse me, you want the Vikings to win and the Giants to win because I'm really not wanting to play San Francisco right now because they're playing damn well. Um, but look, I, I, I really have confidence in this Cowboys team to get to the postseason, but I'm not buying them right now. Uh, I think that they have to continue to prove to me that they are going to be a damn good team. The NFC has yet to have that stranglehold team like, you can make the argument for Philadelphia because they're 10-1 and 1 right now, but I don't really give a shit about that because, again, I understand that a lot of people are upset with, you know, and, and I see all the Eagles and Cowboys fans going back, but I don't really give a fuck about that because you know why? Here's the thing. It's going to be about how this thing ends. If Philly knocks Dallas out, you know, okay, so be it, right? It sucks, but you didn't get the job done. However, if Dallas knocks out Philly or Dallas knocks out another team, you know what's going to happen? Now people are going to be like, all right, cool, you did your thing. You made it to the NFC Championship game, finally, right? But, you know, it's just crazy to me how Dallas, and this is what's crazy, uh, so I'm sorry, it, it's just the fact that this team is on the verge of going back to back to the postseason since 2006, 2007 is something, and you need, you need to get into the tournament in order to have a chance, right? And I did my own research, and I'm going to talk about that once we get uh, once the playoffs get set because I'm going to do this methodology that, I'm, that I did for my research is going to determine, um, and I'll, I'll do a quick little sneak peek. So when it comes down to it, the Cowboys currently sit as the NFC's fifth seed, and I understand that a lot of us are very much coveting that number one spot that Philadelphia holds, but right now, if we look at the, you know, the numbers, since 2010, 58.3% of NFC fifth seeds lost in the wild card. The other percentages, 25% lost in the divisional round, 8.3% lost in the NFC championship game, and 8.3% won the Super Bowl, which, by the way, we're talking about 12 teams. So realistically, the teams you're referring to are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of 2020 and the 49ers of 2013 that went on to the NFC Championship game. So you look at a team like the third seed. Here's a good one because Dallas was the third seed last year. You want to know what the third seed's you know, results are? 66.7% lost in the first round. Yes, the third seed has only got 33.3%. That have gotten to the division round and lost. So the Cowboys are both of those teams uh, in in both realms, 2014 and uh, <laughs> last year. So that's crazy because the third seed has never won the Super Bowl in the last uh, couple of years or rather the last decade plus. And if you're wondering about that first seed, 
The first seed lost in the first round 33.3% of the time. Yes, Dallas is a part of that metric because we all know what happened. However, if you go on, there's a 40... Uh, a 41.7% chance given that that out of those participants they made the Super Bowl uh, 25% loss, 16.7% won so the reason I bring up these things and probabilities is because their history is a big thing like there's a reason why I pick certain teams to win and lose like for example when I pick the Cowboys to beat the Vikings it's because we know who the Cowboys are and we know that the Cowboys have a history like there, there are things that go into it. It's not really superstition. It's just using historical probability, basically. So that's going to be something you're going to look forward to in the next thing. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to just use the raw data here. I'm, I'm of course, going to use judgment, too. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, by all means, like, comment, subscribe, do all that other stuff. Because, it, look, we got a long ways to go before this tournament really gets going and i think that as long as dallas gets their shit together they'll be just fine so i do hope you enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right guys have a go